Hi, my name is Nicole and today we're talking about all things bags, particularly bags you're going to travel with or bring with you with camera care or anything in between. These are things that I've learned about bags, things I like and dislike, and we're going to go through several of them today. I think we've got this in the bag. All right, so here's the bags we're starting with. These are the bags I brought with me today. I did forget one of them, so I'm gonna add it in at the end. Actually two, because I had to throw out one because it was so worn out and it grew mold. Another story there. So the first one we're gonna start with is the small one. We're gonna start with this lovely little Peak Designs bag. are that you can fit two cameras in here and it has this magnetic thing here I don't know what you call it but you just put two magnets here so it like clips back in nice and easily and then it also has this front pocket here which has plenty of storage and so if I'm going on like a shorter shoe like an hour session or something and I'm in a hurry and I know I'm gonna run errands after and I don't want to like have a huge bag this is great and then the other thing that I really like is that on the other side, there's a lot of storage within it. So on this side, you can put like little SD cards and stuff and like little knickknacks in here because there's plenty of room. And then the zippers do seem pretty strong and good. I have put them to the test by cramming cameras in here. And I can reasonably fit two, um, one with a 28 lens on it and the other with a G Master 85, both Sony. Um, so the one's more compact, the 85 is kind of a tight squeeze, but it's definitely doable. But overall, pretty good bag. I will say if you're walking for an extended period of time, this will dig into your shoulder, so I'll like switch it side to side, but that's like if you're extensively using it. Like day to day, it's pretty easy. I think with one camera, this is like ideal. Two cameras, you can do it, but I feel like a camera and a lens and another lens is the ideal setup for this bag. On to the next. This Ruka bag, actually I learned a couple years ago that you pronounce it Ruka instead of Barbie or I don't know, it's Ruka apparently. And so I had the backpack version, which I'm gonna show a little insert. I used it all the time, it got moldy. Not the best back support, but overall pretty good back, crammed a lot of stuff, did a lot of travel with it. I was really excited to try this one. I really like the design of it. I'm gonna show you the design. But the one big drawback, I would say, is that this right here does not have any like back support. So if it's loaded with gear, like right now it's empty, so it's fine. But if it's loaded with gear, your back's going to ache. And like you can adjust here, and it has this, which is good. But the problem is that it digs in right in here to the back of your shoulder. And that is not so great. But there's two ways you can carry this. So you can carry it like this. You can carry it like this, kind of like a gym bag type thing, or on the back. The back is just not too comfy. Look at this material. It's made to like be non-slip material, which is great because it's not gonna move while you're setting it down somewhere. You put it in grass or on a hill, it's not gonna slide. But not so great for back support. Like there's no back support in this. It's like having a, like a delivery box on your back. But the inside is really nice. We'll take a look at that now. Look at this. This is pretty solid. You see when it opens up, like everything's maxed out for storage. And the cushions here are really nice and thick. Also, I do like to keep these just because it keeps moisture out, a little silica gel. So just a little pro tip, living in Hawaii, like everything molds. So see, even there's mold on that. That's a case. Like everything molds here. So these little things are great. Now, the thing that I really like is that this little organizer pocket here, it's got a lot of storage. And they're huge too. So you can like have little bags of SD cards that you put within here. I wouldn't recommend like setting your SD cards free in this environment. I mean, you can, but I like to put them in a little SD card case and then put them in here and then do that. But one of the things I really like is that 
after you un this, is that there is a spot where you can put your laptop, and yes, it does fit a 16 inch one, and then under here, you could also stick in your charger, little cards, um, a external hard drive or two, nice and cushioned. So I will say they did a really good job of cushioning the camera gear itself, now the outside and the back of it, I would love to see some back support or a roller. Like I would love to attach like some rollers right here. That would be great. And then I could just roll it because it's not so great when you're putting it on your back. But other than that, I love the versatility of it. The problem, again, back support, non-existent. So if you're gonna carry this on your back for travel, not so great. Other little nice detail I'm gonna mention real quick, you can put your name in here, put your little business card, put stuff just in case you lose it so someone can contact you. Always good. Up next, we've got this wonderful bag. This is quite a big bag, actually. I think it's 43 liters, I don't wanna say it wrong. So this is the bag I've been using a lot lately since my other one rotted and molded. Again, the Ruka version of the backpack, which was really, really good and lasted me quite a few years. This bag is good on back support generally. I wouldn't say it's like a hiking back support, but it's pretty good. And it has this thing where you can lift it like this and you can pull out two little straps. And just like tow it different ways. So I think this is like gonna add some extra back support here. I generally don't use this, but I think if you're gonna travel a lot with it, this would be great. I haven't traveled a ton with this yet. And then the thing that I also like is that it's a back zip. The last one we just looked at was a front zip, which is great for versatility. I like I love being able to lift and look and see everything without having to disorganize everything. But having a back zip, particularly for travel, is really good if you have camera gear or anything valuable in your bag, especially with pickpocketing. And then I have to pack all my clothes and stuff too. So it's always a tight squeeze no matter what. But 45 liters is pretty ample and a lot of like normal airlines allow you to bring that as carry-on. And then the other thing I like too, again, laptop pocket, very important to me because I always work when I travel. And so I always have to have gear and all the accessories and things with it. So this is a really sturdy, well-made bag. I do like the material as well. Um, the added back support is really nice, really nice touch. And the zippers do seem to be pretty solid. Oh, one other thing. Pockets on the side. I have a brush in here. Shows it's a little bit deep. Still need to brush my hair today. And then the other thing is you can fit a tripod in it. So I can do like one as a tripod and then one as a water bottle. Do that real quick. I found out that traveling with tripods is not so fun um, because I brought one that had its own tripod bag and so I would recommend if you can get a smaller tripod. <laughs> There's like a bunch of travel ones out there. The one thing is you want to make sure it's sturdy enough where it's not going to fall over. This one's pretty decent. It's like a mid-range one. I'll link it below so you guys can find it if you want it. It's not like the best tripod ever but it does have a video head meaning it's going to have smoother video. So what I mean by that is it's like a fluid head, as they call it. So we're gonna just stuff it in here real quick. A little deeper, more secure, it's gonna stay a little better. I do think that I need to clip this in so that it doesn't come loose, but not too bad. My tripod just felt a little bit too tall, so I don't know how airlines are like that, but it does technically work. <laughs> it does need a little support, eh? 
and then water bottle in the other or like another thing that you need to stick. Even like a pair of shoes would be nice in here. But the one thing I would say is I'm gonna need to get something to like clip this in so that it doesn't stick out more. I know that this vacuum they, they do make like their own like really nice tripod. I haven't gotten my hands on it yet, but I do know that it's more like functional, a little bit smaller and stuff, so it's probably a little better for fitting in the back. But this one's pretty good too, Manfrotto, you can't go wrong there. So something that I think is really interesting is like different bags for different purposes. So I feel like I've collected and invested in quite a few bags because of that. And some of them do go sitting more than others. So that's why I wanted to take some time to definitely review and I definitely have too many bags so I know how to talk about them I guess because I've used them all. And the next one we're going to talk about is one that you wouldn't expect that I actually use a lot. So this is the Aloha function. And the thing that I like about this, obviously not a camera bag, but that's the nice thing. Sometimes you can throw a camera in here. I wouldn't throw like a red camera or anything crazy in here. But for like something discreet and you just want to stuff the camera in here real quick, easy. Not the most cushioned, but if you have it within something, that's great. But the thing that I like about this is when I'm traveling, I want to pair this with a carry-on bag and use this as my purse slash personal item, compress it a little bit, do something to get it on the airline, and it kind of works really well. So the thing that I also like are these little organizers. I do like and recommend either like a packing system, packing cubes, like this. This is a packing cube technically, even though it's like a camera cube as we call it. So something like this is really, really useful. Pads your stuff, then when you're moving around, you can take stuff out, make it smaller, organize, way easier. Um, you don't have loose cameras hanging around in the back. Not the best when you're traveling. And then something like this, really convenient to like put chargers, adapters, hard drives, that sort of stuff, even like swimwear, like clothing, that sort of stuff, like packing cubes, or like these little, I don't know what you call it, little bags are great. And then if you have like a side bag or something for like all your miscellaneous items or even like grocery shopping, this comes in handy. Like I can be like, I don't need a bag today, keeping the environment a little more preserved. And then the other thing is I put little bags within it. So I use this bag like crazy throughout Europe, but also when I worked on a film production where I was like six days a week, 12 hour days, because you can clip a walkie talkie to it. You can have it discreet. You can have it on your front so you don't get pickpocketed. And this little front zip thing here, convenient for little SD cards, little batteries. The main compartment? I was blown away because you can actually fit a lot in here. I mean, take a look at this. Okay. So there's this back pocket here, which I put the more important things because it's closer to you, it's further back. So like your passport, your documents, credit cards, that sort of stuff. Wallet, put in this main thing here. And then look, there's even a penny in here. <laughs> and uh, then on the front side here, we can put some batteries. We can put like all sorts of little things that you might need while you're on set or while you're like traveling around. This is just like, so valuable. I can also fit like a little compact like Canon G7X in here, which I have done. And I can fit my phone in here. I can fit a portable charger in here. The list goes on. So I really do like the functionality of this. Also unclips really easy right here. And then you can also wear it around your waist. I personally don't, but I'm just gonna show you just for fun. But very, very functional. I've seen people, um, talk about these. I got these because I heard people talk about these and I use this every day most of the time since I got it for like five and a half months of travel and then I came back and kind of was like okay I don't want to carry this every day all the time anymore but I did use it on film sets and it was so great and I still use it to this day. I have worn out some of it a little bit. There's like a little area ah, like right in here if you can see it's a little bit of wear and tear but it's not too bad. I've used this all the time and I'm going to continue to use it for my travels in the future. But if you want something a little more colorful, a little bit smaller than that, this is another great option as well. This again was the Aloha collection. And 
this. The thing that I like about the black though is that it goes with anything. But this, if you're wearing like a neutral color palette, this works really well and it gives you a little pop of color. And then again, it has the little clip right here. Can also be worn around the waist. I do like that Lulu's um, is thicker. I'm gonna compare side by side. So this compared to this, you can see that this one's gonna feel like thicker and the um, this is bigger than the other one. So I do like this one over this one, but both are great. This one cannot fit as much stuff. I feel like this fits way more stuff in it. But depending on what you need to carry, these are great. Bring a rain jacket or something that's like water resistant while you're traveling. It also helps to have like a little rain cover for your lens. I've had times where I either have like a little miniature towel or a little compact rain jacket like this for Windbreaker and I'll just throw it over my tripod with my camera because if there's salt or rain, like if it's really windy and it's salty and you're on the beach, it can get into your lens or it can like destroy it over time. And then same with water. Obviously if it's raining, you don't want your camera getting poured on, but if you're in the middle of getting a shot and you're like packing stuff up, having something like this, really valuable, really great. And then also when it starts raining during travels, if you have that already covered or not out and you just happen to need a rain jacket, it's already here. So yeah, definitely recommend investing in something like this. I had one that's purple and that's great, but it had like a print and sometimes it was really tacky with outfits. So I did opt for a minimalist more black one. This one is outer no. And just in case you guys are wondering, this set is plain snow. I've been wearing it, it's like a terry cloth material. I'm wearing this far too much. <laughs> and then, we have these wonderful dry bags of two different varieties. Here is the Sling. This one's Before Work Surf Club. And it is a homegrown brand out of Brentsville Beach, North Carolina. One of my friends actually owns this. It's super cool. And there's two of them that are in the company. And they were able to go time with it, which is amazing. And yeah, so Before Work Surf Club, I shot by them in the past. They're super rad. And it's one of those old top bags. You fold it down two or three times, like yeah, like this. <laughs> and then snap it together. And then you got your waterproof bag. If you're doing anything like ocean or water related, these are so good to have because you never know when you're gonna need it. And being able to stuff your camera in here when it starts downpouring or when the waves are coming over a boat, really practical. And then there's not much cushion to it, but it's very lightweight and you can compress it and like put it within your other bag and then you can use it as a day bag. When it does get heavy, this is like a one shoulder sling thing, so you gotta like vary it over time if you're going like far distances. But overall pretty practical and a really solid entry price point too. Next thing here, color. So the backpack version of this, but more commercial. Um, so Polar has this. There is like straps here which are good but there's not going to be back support here so if you have anything like weirdly shaped you're going to feel it in your back um but the thing that i like again roll top design so we're going to roll it on down clip it in and this one has a little hanger you know when you can hang it on things it makes it really convenient if you need to hang it somewhere real quick not if it's super heavy but if you have something light in it so these two are really good for dry baths. If I had to choose a favorite between the two, I definitely use this one more just because I, I usually have a backpack anyways. And then this is kind of the add-on and I've had this one for longer. This one I've had for a couple months now and I do like it. It's just you gotta use it for those niche things like boat days or like time on the water, which is great, but you're not gonna bring this every time you go surf. Um, and then I've also used this one as like a grocery bag, which is great as well. So these are the bags that I brought with me. We've got one more bag that I'm going to add in now, which I forgot to bring with me to the studio today. So this bag is from Tropic Feel, and it is one of their travel bags. And it's just a little bit smaller than the pink size one, a little more compact, but it has some cool functionalities that we're gonna talk about. 
So the first is, it is a back zip. We know how I love back zips, so that's important. I like that this one and the Peak Designs are both back zip bags. There is a area at the bottom where you can unzip it and it has a shoe bag. So that way your shoes don't have to go in with your other things. Which is nice if you're going on hikes, doing anything muddy. Because you don't want mud all over your camera gear or your clothes, how it kind of suck. Then it has this wonderful thing. What is this? Well, if you want to know, this is the straps that you can put across your waist. So you can buckle these in, make it tight, and it gives you more back support. There is decent back support with this, which is nice. And then, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open this. So first, on the top, it has one of these little pouches. I like these pouches. You can stick your sunglasses in. You can stick anything that like you need, but maybe not like your most important things. Maybe don't put your passport in here, just because if you're traveling, I'll pay too much attention. And then, let's go ahead and unzip this main back compartment. I have a few things inside. So, the first is a wonderful hat. I don't know, I love having hats and sunglasses when I travel. I'm getting older, gotta protect myself from the sun. So that's a nice addition to have in your bag. The next thing is this camera cube. This camera cube is a little bit smaller. This is great for like day treks. This is great for traveling with one camera, maybe two. Depends on how many lenses you have. I always travel with way too much camera gear, so I will have to put additional, but I did find my flash, which I was looking for, for my shoot tonight, so that's important. Um, again, little dividers, little details. I like that you can store things up here. Nice, organized little details, great. A little bit small for my needs when I'm traveling long term, but for shorter trips, great. They do have a bigger one. I just use a smaller one because I need to fit more in bags. So like if you're traveling with maybe two lenses and one camera, this would be perfect. I just travel with two cameras, maybe four. This is, let me see what they even call it. This is the wardrobe system. Ta-da! And swivels. I love the little swivel thing. So you can just take this out of your bag and have all your clothes together and hang them, so you can see this up close. So you can hang all your clothes. Now, and the other thing it does too, is you can compress down your clothes with these little adjusters on the side. I'm still figuring out how much stuff I can fit when I travel, and I wanna travel minimally, but right now this has a decent amount of clothes in it. And as for head reference, here's the size, bigger than my head. And then, got a little bag itself. So one of the things I love to have with a bag is I'm always working when I'm traveling. So in order to do that, I'm gonna need a computer, right? So this is a computer compartment. So you can stick your computer in here, nice and cushioned on your back. So again, no one's gonna pickpocket your computer if it's right next to your back. Hopefully, don't jinx it. Then the next thing it has is it has these wonderful functional pocket things. I can see cords, SD cards, camera thing, maybe some hard drives in pockets. I recommend cushioning your hard drives. It's a really good thing to do, a good thing to have a habit for. And yeah, this is a pretty good bag. Has a lot of functionality. Great for if you're gonna be hiking, if you're gonna be doing outdoorsy things. And the cushioning on the back is pretty nice too. So those are the bags that I've had a chance to review. Super grateful for the opportunity to do so. Hope it helps you out. Let me know any questions. You can drop any questions down below. And you can also message me on Instagram if you have questions about bags. Hope you've enjoyed today's bag review. If you found it useful, if you have comments, questions, concerns, any of the above, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer. And in the meantime, have a great day and look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.